Tumino, you know, you've been doing lots and lots of equivalent, equivalent fractions with the fraction material. For instance, you know that one half is equivalent to two over four. Two fourths. Yeah, two fourths. Yes. And you know that one third is equivalent to two six. Two six. And so on. So let's get a fraction piece. You can get one fourth. Let's get one fourth. Okay. Get your paper. Write one fourth. One fourth. Okay. Now this piece one fourth, what is it equivalent to? Two eighths. Two eighths. Okay, let me, let me write two eighths, or you write two eighths here. Two eighths. Okay. Now, look at this fourth, the denominator, one fourth. What do you think can be done to one fourth to make it one eighth? You times it by two. You multiply it by two, right? Yes. Okay. So what you are saying is that you multiply by two, yes. the denominator by two. So whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator. To maintain the value. So we multiply the denominator by 2. That means we have to multiply the numerator also by 2. two. Now look at this. These two halves. These two halves is the same thing as 1. When you multiply any number by 1, you don't change the value, okay? Yes. You only change the way it looks. So now, what, in essence, what you have done is multiplying 1 fourth by 2 halves, and we are getting 2 eighths. Yes. The value has not changed. Let's get 2 fifths out from our fraction material. One fifth, two fifths. You can write two fifths. Two fifths. Okay. Now, these two fifths, what do you think is equivalent to? Four tenths. Four tenths. Okay. You can write four tenths here. Now, again, look at 5. What do you think you can do to 5 to make it 10? Multiply it by 2. Multiply by 2. So go ahead and do that. Here. Two. And whatever you do to the denominator, you must do to the numerator. Yes. To maintain the value. So multiply the numerator by 2 as well. 2. So we see that again, 2 halves yes. is the same thing as 1. Yes. So we have not changed the value or the fraction. It's only looks different but the value is the same so to me you will see that two fifths is the same as four tenths bring out the four tenths 
One ten. Two tens. Two tens. Three tens. Three tens. Four tens. Four tens. Four tens. Okay. And we've already written that in paper. So how how did you change these two tens to four tens? These two fifths. How did you change these two fifths to four tenths? Multiply both the denominator and the numerator by two. Yes. And that's what you have done here. Yes. So you see that they are the same, they, they have the same value, they only look different. And then we can bring out one third. One third. I'll write that down. What fraction is equivalent to one third? Two six. Two six. You can write that down. Now look at you can bring out two six. Bring out two six. One six. Two six. Okay. Now look at the denominator here is three. Yes. What do you do to three to make it six? Multiply by two. Multiply by two. And whatever you do to the denominator, you must do the same thing to the numerator. Yes. Therefore, we also multiply the numerator by two. two. So go ahead and do that. So we see that. So we see that we have not changed the value. What we have done is actually multiplying one third by one. Two halves is the same thing as one. And I told you that any number multiplied by one is still that number. The value does not change. So one third we can see how we have changed it to two six so they are equivalent one third two six they are equivalent so this is how we do it on paper yes okay this is how we find the equivalent fractions on paper remember just look at the denominator and think of what you can do to the denominator to get to the to the denominator you want the new denominator and whatever you do to the denominator will do the same operation on the numerator. You can bring that one third fraction piece again. One third. Now, what else is one third equivalent to? Three ninths. Three ninths. So go ahead and bring that three ninths. One ninth. One ninth, two ninth, three ninth, three ninth. So write it. Write your one third on paper. One third, three, three ninth. So what do you do from what I've shown you? And multiply it by three. In order to get to nine. nine. And then, what will you do to the numerator? Multiply it also by 3. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Times 3, times 3, 2. Equals 3 over 9. Okay, bring this to the right of the equal sign clearly. So we see that in essence you have multiplied one third by one. Three thirds is the same thing as one. So the value hasn't changed. So we see that one third is actually equivalent to 
three ninth, and that's what we see here. So on paper, you can work out your equivalent fractions this way. There is another way we can find equivalence. To mean, suppose I take four eighths. You can write four eighths. Get up four eighths from the fraction answers. One eighth. Two eighth. Three eighth. Four eighths. Four eighths. I want to reduce this fraction to one half. Get one half out. One half. Yes. So I want to, instead of four eighths, I want to have one half. So what do I do? You can write your one half here. One half. Now, what do I do to 2 to get it to, I mean, what do I do to 8 to get it to 2? Divide it by 4. Divide it by 4. And remember, whatever we do, whatever operation we carry out on the denominator, we do the same thing on the numerator. Okay, so go ahead and divide your 8, the denominator, by Four. Equals. Equals. One. So you see how we've gotten from four eighths to one half. Yes. You can see how we've done it on paper. Okay.